welcome back to the Ask Johnny channel. Artificial intelligence. Do we really give a stuff whether a song's written by a person or a machine? G'day Johnny. Yeah, we're back for another exciting episode. G'day Johnny, it's a pleasure to have you here as usual. What have you got for us? Hello Johnny, we'll get straight in with this. It's from Wildflower in Hawaii. Hello to everybody in Hawaii, especially Wildflower. Keep watching us Johnny, but Wildflower says, Johnny, Johnny, we hear a lot about artificial intelligence these days. Is there a possibility it will take over everything Johnny signed? Wildflower in Hawaii, thanks Wildflower. Johnny, is AI gonna take over everything? Or artificial intelligence and creativity? Oh, what a bloody question, Johnny. You know, I happen to be on Facebook and uh, I'm in one of those bloody musical sort of guitar groups that, uh, oh, Facebook, yeah. They bullshit onto each other about how good they are and what sort of bloody guitars they got. And just the other day, there was a bloke on there, he said, uh, please help me. I can't seem to find a drummer anywhere. Any suggestions? Jesus Christ! Uh, Johnny, half the people came back and said, why don't you just get a drum machine? They're a lot easier. You don't have to fuck around with drummers being late and being in a bad mood and all that bloody bullshit. And I thought, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Is that the bloody way we're heading? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I wrote back Johnny and I said, eh, yeah, get a drum machine, mate, and uh, while you're at it, buy a robot that'll bloody play the rhythm guitar and get another robot that'll play bass guitar and another bloody robot that can sing the bloody song and pretty soon, and you won't even have to go to the fucking gig. <laughs> well, that's where I see it heading, Johnny. Well, it seems to be completely dismissive of the spirit of the spirit of creativity, Johnny. Patrons recently asked me, do you think that AI-generated music can be dangerous for composers? I mean, replace them in some musical styles. And to be honest, I knew that music written by artificial intelligence existed, but I hadn't really listened to any to see how good it was. And when I did listen to it, I was pretty shocked. music was written by the virtual composer Ava. Jesus Christ, was he, was he serious? Johnny, the human race has been spending the last 10,000 years trying to find ways of doing things easier. And the invention of bloody robots to do all your work, well that's all very well in a fucking factory. But if you want to write a song that's from the heart and everything, yeah, well, just by definition, a bloody uh, computer writing it, yeah, it, it can't happen. Oh, Michelangelo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny, do you mean to tell me that you reckon that uh, AI is going to take over everything in creativity, especially music, and no, no one will be doing any bloody thing ever again? Well, he could knock me over with a feather. Some people who believe that the development of artificial intelligence and machine learning will lead to humanity's demise, which maybe so, maybe no. I'm asking the same question I'm always asking. With the way we're going, well, we're just going to let it all happen and it'll just fucking get to the point, Johnny, for Christ's sake. Songwriting and playing will just fade away and uh, people in a hundred years will say, Jesus, yeah, that was a great time back there. It's a shame it's all disappeared. <laughs> And by the way, Johnny, have you, have you been asked whether you want robots to take over the bloody world? Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. Neither have I. But what are you going to do about it, hey? So who the hell's bloody pushing it all and why are they pushing it all? And why are we getting things we didn't ask for in the first place? 
I mean, Johnny, there's been musical innovation uh, uh, through the last couple of hundred years. Uh, the electric guitar, Johnny, when it came along, people said, we're not using that, that's cheating. But now the electric guitar has become a cultural icon. Cultural icon, and uh, it's just a normal instrument. But when you start stripping away the hours of practice and the commitment and, uh, and the love of good bloody music, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Johnny, it's a bit like free speech we were waffling on about the other day. Uh, are we just pissing in the wind here at the Ask Johnny Studios? Does anybody out there really care about what's going on or do they just let it all happen? I mean, Johnny, the other day I saw a some young guitarist in a coffee shop. That can't be possible. Yeah, in a coffee shop, and he was strumming away, and he wasn't very enthusiastic, a bit bloody dull, I reckon. And I looked over, and here he's got his laptop open, and he's got all the chords and all the words just there on his screen. He doesn't even have to bloody practice. <laughs> Jesus Christ, was he, was he serious? But I reckon he should have practiced because he was shit. <laughs>